everyone welcome back to my channel kanya art and craft this is devo priya and uh, this time i have come up with a acrylic painting tutorial on your request so let's get started here i have taken a canvas roll uh, you can cut the size according to your preference for this buddha painting i want a square shaped canvas so i'm cutting it in 18 by 18 size I have already drawn the sketch on the canvas. Now drawing some geometrical pattern around Buddha's face using compass. Applying Prussian blue color on the background. Take a flat wet brush and Apply the color all over the background. Taking deep magenta, cadmium red, cerulean blue, crimson lake and mauve. Dipping a small piece of sponge in the water and drain out all the extra water from that. Then take different shades and blend them to the background using dabbing technique. Applying cerulean blue on few parts and then dabbing the color using sponge to blend it with the previous shade. Following the same process, dabbing using sponge to blend the color. Applying mauve and blending it. Now taking some white color using a toothbrush to spray some white color on the background. Adding white color with mauve to create this beautiful lilac shade for the face. Now I'm taking two spoon of POP and some glue. Mixing them together, add some glue if required. Basically we need to make a thick paste kind of consistency. Now we need to make a cone. So for that here I'm taking a plastic sheet, rolling it in this way and using a tape to secure the edges. Pouring the paste into the cone. And now I need to seal it using a tape to seal the top part. Cut the pointed side according to your required thickness. Now I am creating coil pattern to feel the hair part. Okay, so one tip here. While making this paste, you need to keep few things in your mind. First, do not use water. If you find that your paste is becoming very thick, then add some amount of glue to that don't mix water otherwise you'll end up getting cracks after drying second thing the paste should be thick enough so that you can apply and create some texture with it as you can see i have already started applying golden color on the geometrical design so for that you need to take a flat brush and pearl metallic gold shade as the pigmentation of this pearl metallic gold is very less so you need to apply at least two to three layers on each part to get the exact shade now I'm applying dark shade of lilac on the corner areas to create depth effect for the first layer I have mixed 
mauve with some white color to create this beautiful lilac shade now for the second layer to the same mixture i have added some more amount of mauve to create this darker shade first applying the darker shade using a round brush on all the corners and then using a round wet brush to blend the color or you can also use a rough brush to blend the color using dabbing technique applying darker shade on all the corners and crease and then blend it using a wet brush repeat the same process for the other side apply color using a brown brush on the corners and then blend it using a wet brush I have applied lighter shade of mauve on the cheekbone part and then blending it with the previous shade using a flat brush. Using dabbing technique to blend some areas. Applying lighter shade on the other side and applying the darker shade around the lighter shade then using a flat brush to blend the color together applying this light lilac shade on the forehead area just on the center part then applying the darker shade just add this into that and then blend them together using a flat brush applying darker shade of lilac in one side of the ear and blending it using a wet brush Now again I'm applying the darker shade on the corner parts and blending them using a clean wet brush. Repeat the same process for all the corners and crease. Applying black color on the hair part as a base coat. Feel all the corners properly. Applying mauve on the neckline and blending it using a flat brush. Apply light lilac shade on the center part of the eyelid and then apply some darker shade on the corners and blend them together using a flat brush. Add some more lighter shade to highlight. Sometime finger does the job better. So use it i have added some amount of black with mauve to achieve this darker shade and applying it on the neck part highlighting the nose area applying darker shade on the borderline of the lips to highlight Applying some lighter shade to highlight. Drawing the eyes using black color. Here I'm using brush number 00. Highlighting few areas with the lighter shade.
drawing eyebrows. Here I have taken this golden dust from fabric grill. I'll take this uh, golden color using my finger and rub it on the texture part. This golden color will highlight the coil pattern. If you don't have this golden dust, you can also use pearl metallic gold liquid color to highlight. Now I'm using a 3D outliner on the bottle and of the geometrical design to give 3D effect. The shade name is pearl metallic gold. In case you're not able to arrange this 3D outliner, then do not worry because I have a solution. You can definitely make this 3D outliner at home. So just buy one tube golden color. Why I'm asking to buy a tube color? Because the consistency of the tube color is thick. Then you need to make a cone following the same process that I've shared previously. And then pour the paint from the tube into the cone and seal all the edges using tape and your 3D outliner is ready to use. Try this process to make 3D outliner at your home and use it in your paintings and let me know if that works or not. I'll share the link of the tube golden color and all other products used in this project in the description box below. Please check out from there. And do let me know whether the tutorial was helpful for you or not and leave a comment below if you want me to create more such videos in future. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.